Hello again everyone, Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks. I want to give you an update on this uh, massive German Type 21 RC submarine project that I'm working on. Uh, two big developments in it. Uh, I have sectioned off the hull. As you can see, uh, the hull is now in three sections. Um, what I'm going to need to do is work out uh, an attachment point. Now these bulkheads were already in place, so I'm going to utilize those as an attachment point. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is install some brackets uh, in the main hull and then uh, it'll be three bolts on each side and I'm hoping I can use uh, some wing nuts so that you won't actually need to use any tools uh, to do so. So this was done primarily for convenience for transportation um, instead of uh, something that's like eight and a half feet long. Uh, each section here is about you know, three feet long. So it makes it much more convenient to transport to and from the pond. The other thing that I've got going on here is the uh, operational periscope system. I'm going to show you how that works in a minute, uh, but let's show it in operation here first. All right, let's take a look at the inner workings of the periscope system. Now this particular iteration took me quite a few tries. Originally, uh, I wanted to have a, a hydraulic system that was based off of a series of individual syringes. Uh, unfortunately, they only traveled, you know, about three inches and I wanted to get more than that because this is a big model. I want to have something that uh, you can raise up to help keep that periscope depth during operation. And so what I've switched to is a single cylinder pneumatic system. Uh, if we take a look at what that looks underneath, we've got uh, a series of all of the periscopes. Uh, we've got a mounting bracket inside the conning tower. Um, so that is fixed in place. The, as the air is drawn out, of the syringe, a vacuum is created inside, the plunger depresses, and the periscopes will raise. Uh, conversely, when uh, the air pressure is reversed, uh, air pressure builds up, forces the syringe out, and retracts the periscope. So I'll grab my uh, pump and I'll show you what that looks like, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like uh, on the inner workings as it operates. So this is the uh, air pump, one of the two that is going to be required for operation. Uh, I sell these on the NautilusDryDocks.com. It's a little uh, uh, vacuum pump, uh, 12 volts. Um, so uh, there'll be two of them. And then the reason is, is that these diaphragm pumps are not reversible. So I need one for each dedicated function uh, to raise and to lower. That's certainly not a problem. Just to use an electronic switch uh, that switches back and forth. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, rig this up and show you an operation with one hand here. There we go. And now I'm just going to reverse the lead on the pump just for demonstration purposes. And that's it. So, uh, you know, fairly simple system. Like I said, it took a couple of uh, iterations for me to get it functioning properly. But what uh, I'm going to need to do now is when I get the whole assembly mounted into the boat, uh, I need to make sure that the top uh, is secured down to the main hull. And then I put a stop underneath so that it doesn't overpressurize if the operator goes a little bit too far and blow the plunger. Uh, out the bottom, which wouldn't be a very good situation. So um, that's it. That's the uh, operational periscope system. I'm kind of stoked that I finally got it working. Now I'm going to get on to uh, finishing up the operational um, aspect of the boat, the cylinder. I'll show you what that looks like right now. This is, uh, there's going to be two main cylinders. There's going to be this one. Uh, and this one, this is the rear one with the two main drive motors in there. 
a couple of uh, servos, automatic pitch controller, uh, power monitor, and this is the main air pump for the semi-aspirated air pump ballast system. Um, I think this is going to work out really, really well. I'm kind of uh, excited about it. So thanks for joining me. Uh, stay tuned for more updates. If you have any questions uh, or comments, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me anytime, bob at rc-sub.com. Visit my website, nautilusdrydocks.com, for lots of stuff like this, uh, cool resources, information, and stuff to buy. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you next time.